and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morrell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. So we have something a little bit different for you today. So I'm about to go and hit the shops and meet a client and I'm going to take you along with me. So you're going to see what happens from the point at which I meet her all the way to getting her dressed and see how I do it and what clothes she buys and how the process works really. Um, it's still Body Shape Masterclass. I think it's Body Shape Masterclass 25 and generally speaking I think she is an hourglass but with a bit of an extra stomach so really you're only an hourglass when your waist goes in by eight to ten inches but generally speaking her shoulders and her hips are aligned she just is a little bit more thick set around the middle bit or that's what I think because at this stage all I have to go by is a star questionnaire and a picture she sends through and the process starts with me looking at that star questionnaire sometimes giving her a call if I need to qualify things but then I go to the shopping centre and I shop by myself for two hours. I reserve everything that I see that I think would suit her. We meet up in the shops, we head straight to the dressing rooms and we start getting her dressed so it's as simple as that. Now I know as soon as I get there it's just going to be very crazy and full on so I thought I would share with you right now that in preparation for Mother's Day we've got a couple of discount codes for you. So I've managed to get a 20% discount code off Monica Vinada. Oh and I don't know if you saw on my Instagram page but I was actually lucky enough to go along to the opening of the new Monica Vinada store in Bath in Wiltshire and I actually went to get my seconds done. So I now have two piercings which um, my daughter thinks is very cool. I can't believe I've actually gotten to the age of 48 and not had those done and I love it. The lady was so professional in there, so it took such good care and time and attention. And then I've paired it with the Diamond Essential wire earring, which are just my favourites. I just think you can't go wrong with a little drop earring like that or a little stud earring. They're both really lovely. And I've also got some new pieces on my wrist. So this one here with the little bit of green in it is called their mini baguette chain bracelet. I love it just because it's got a little bit of colour in. Obviously, if you haven't got the green on, then you can just turn it around. I have matched it with the green half eternity ring. That's just one of their stacking rings there as well. And that's another one, obviously, that I wear all the time. And then I got the essential bracelet. So this is just an oval bracelet, but I've had it inscribed. And I've had the, the names... Melissa Morrell put on there because when I have MM Personal Styling, guess what? They just disappear from the academy. Um, so that's why I've had that inscribed. But how nice would that be for Mother's Day? I think my mum would absolutely love that. I'd probably put with love or something on those lines on it. And then this one here, you can you can also have that one inscribed to perhaps I think probably just with your initials on that one. And that one's called the Oval Charm Bracelet. I like to stack them, but actually you could get away with just wearing one of these because each bracelet is kind of significant in its own right. So absolutely loving those. And I know which ones are going to buy my mum for Mother's Day. And I've also got on this really lovely dainty heart necklace just there. It's beautiful. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that um, whilst I'm shopping today, but I love that when I've just got a little V-neck on and I just want something in my neck. And I've actually got the matching earrings to that. Um, as, I'm wearing oh. your matching earrings. Sarah. Sarah is wearing my matching earrings. Can you come on and show? Okay, but I'm not camera worthy. But come on. I'm sorry. Oh, that serves you right. Oh. For, let's, can you just show them the my earrings? Face. I have my face. There we go. Let's get close. Look at those. They Pretty, are so they? dainty. There we go. They are beautiful. So very nice. Sorry. That serves you right for stealing the jewellery. <laughs> um, I actually can't take my seconds out anyway for a while. Oh, something else to say is at the bath store, I think they do it probably at quite a few of their stores, they do these permanent welded on bracelets there. So you literally pick from a nice little selection and instead of having to do them up every morning, 
it's permanently on you. You can go in the shower in it, you can bath in it, you can swim in them. Um, so they're a really nice thing to buy somebody as well. So I'll put that discount on the bottom now for you. So hopefully you can treat somebody with that. And we've also got a little gift for you um, this Mother's Day. So this is a gift that you could give to your mum, your sister, your best friend, any lady in your life that you think really deserves a styling treat. So for the first 20 people who use the code Girl Power to purchase one of our styling courses will get sent a free styling course to give to whoever they want. I do have to limit it to the first 20, I'm afraid. So as soon as those purchases have been made, the offer will stop. But it does mean that you and your mum, you and your best friend can both do our personal styling for yourself course. So all the details will be in the description box. So have a look there. Make sure you read the T's and C's and all those boring bits. But essentially the first 20 people when they buy a course are going to get another course for free to gift on to somebody else. So we hope that helps around this Mother's Day time for you. And yes, before you ask, anybody in the US can also take advantage of this despite it not being your Mother's Day at this moment in time. It's time for me to drive to the shopping centre so I will put the camera back on as soon as I'm there for you. Okay so currently in Mango and straight away I'm drawn more to the lighter spring colours. You see that are all on this side of the shop. Usually as you first walk into a store you will see the on-trend pieces, the current pieces that have come in as opposed to being right at the very back of the store. And it doesn't take you long to look around to see what colours are actually now in fashion. So you only have to look here to see that a pop of red is coming through, the brighter blues and the lighter blues are continued down there. That's how you know what colours are on trend. You just literally observe what's around you and see what there's plentiful of in the shops. Okay, so these are the pieces that I found in Mango so far. And what I make sure when I find these pieces is that they're all going to mix and match in some way. So for example, if that denim skirt doesn't work there, I've got something ready and it's down here to give the client as an alternative. So I've got the denim skirt and I've got the jean. What you don't want to have is your client is in a changing room environment and she's got no alternative to the bottoms that you've picked up. So we've also got her some green bottoms there, some black. Um, we've got her a nice trench coat. We've got a really nice striped jumper down there with a really nice open neckline. I've got her some little shoes. She says she likes wearing heels so I'll be making sure that I include a heel but equally I'll be making sure that I've got something she can get changed into for being with the children. So just walking into H&M and straight away you can see the pop of red coming out again. So it's obviously a colour of the season and the neutrals are coming through as blues and your khaki greens and your beiges as well. So I've just spotted this top here and it looks all creased, it doesn't look very nice at all on the coat hanger but have a look at the arms there so we know we've got the detail that many women need. It's $12.99 and it's a linen blend. So linen blend means that it's not going to crease as much as linen, but it should still be quite cool. But the first thing I'm going to do when I look at that top, because most of you would probably just walk straight past that, is undo the neckline. Then I grab myself a pair of jeans and then I start to mock it up together. See now how just a fresh pair of blue jeans and a nice white top like that will be really balancing especially because a lot of the jeans are wide leg now so you need the top to be balanced out in order to balance your figure out so I think that and that might look actually really nice so I'm going to pick that up for her and spotted another gorgeous blouse there it's cropped but if she's got any sort of a stomach then that crop is actually going to be really good because it will half her stomach area so I'm going to grab that as well okay so we're here at the shopping center this is Gail everybody good morning so we've also got Amanda with us by the way today and um, let's get Amanda in just quickly so people on our courses can come out with me for a day um, on a client visit or come into the studio and things like that and so Amanda is joining us for today so if you see her in the background that's who she is but it's Gail that we're focusing on right now so 
Gail, tell the audience. Uh, but let's start off with your height and your, and your dress size, if you're okay with that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm five foot two if you stretch me really hard. And I'm usually a dress size 14, but it entirely depends on the store and the brand which is part of the reason that I don't like shopping. <laughs> okay, all right. No consistency across the shops and the brands, etc. Yeah, it, it is really yeah, hard. hard. We always buy, if we've got a client that is a size 14, we would buy in size 12, size 14, and size 16. Given the job that we do, we do get used to the stores that come up big and come up small, but even then, we probably still get two sizes. So I always say it's not you, it is the stores. And if we could get consistency, it would be amazing, but unfortunately, we can't. Um, so five foot two, so I'm five three and a little bit. Have you got flat shoes on yes. right now? Yes, you have. Okay. So do you ever wear heels? Are you comfortable with heels? Yeah, I love wearing heels. I've had a, a bit of a knee injury for the last year, so I've um, not worn heels much for the last year, um, but I love wearing heels. Okay, all right. And can you tell the audience a little bit about your lifestyle? What are we dressing you for today? Yeah, uh, well, I have a busy lifestyle. I do some care work. I look after some children's groups. I do a little bit of admin work. And I've got a very committed husband on the career front. So it's uh, me taking care of uh, the kids and the animals and the house and uh, the life admin. Um, so I need, I need comfy clothes that I can dash around in every day. But I like to look smart. I don't, I don't want to be... Uh, baggy with no shape um, and I'd love to look a bit more feminine in my day-to-day -day style. Okay, I picked that up on your, your style questionnaire yeah. actually. So whenever a client comes to us it always starts by us sending out a style questionnaire and that style questionnaire asks them obviously all the basics but it also asks them about their lifestyle as well um, and I picked up a few things from that that comfort but I feel like you want to be feminine quite a lot of the time as well I would like yeah, to up your I, game that way. I, I occasionally buy skirts and I never wear them because I actually don't know how to match them up with the rest of the outfit so they just sit in my cupboard. Yeah that's the other yeah. thing I picked up on your yeah. form it was more you felt like you don't know how to put things, put things together. together. That's right yeah I don't know how to put things together. And do you when you go into a shopping environment would you look at a model for example and see that they've put the trench coat with the jeans and the top and would you just take all three in? No probably I would just stand there flummoxed because I just don't know where to turn when I walk into a store. There's okay. so many different choices, so many different styles just for one item, trousers etc. So yeah. I, I rarely go shopping. Um, and I probably should take on board what's already put there. They're done by stylists who know what they're talking about. So but you I, I miss the obvious from the get-go, really. Okay. All right. We spent the last two hours going around the shopping centre and reserving a load of clothes for you. So I think never, never, never. <laughs> So I think we're going to hit Mango and H&M first of all, and we're going to look at just basics. And what we're going to do is put you in a load of items and I just want you to say whether you like it, don't like it, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. So we just get a feel for the client and the type of thing that the client actually likes. So we'll put the camera off now and we will meet you again in the changing rooms. Okay, so we were just walking past Reese here and I pointed out all of these four models to Gail. And I said, out of those outfits, are there any outfits that you like? And Gail, you came up with a great sort of response. Can you tell the audience what your immediate thoughts were then? So I, I immediately wouldn't clock them at all because I would say I don't look like those models in shape, size and height. So therefore, none of those clothes would be right for me. So I've already disregarded it before I've looked. But standing here looking, I like outfit two and I like outfit four. Do you know, outfit two and outfit four are my favourite as well. And straight away, um, the jacket on two and four would probably be very good for you. Um, in fact, everything, if we come a bit forward, everything on that outfit would be really good at the top for you. It would, the lower round neck usually suits everybody. The open shirt there you could wear on its own without the jacket. So you've got two or three outfits just there in that combination. You could wear it with a cream jumper underneath. Could be really versatile. The trousers would be the only thing that might worry me for you. And the reason for that is um, because you're more petite in size, like myself, I know that um, a wide leg trouser is only going to suit you if you've got a heel on. Now you mentioned at the start that a heel is good for you. But from what I'm gathering, you lead quite a casual life as well. Yeah. You know, be the carer yeah. and doing all the other things. So I would be saying to you right now, 
for a pair of trousers like that that you could perhaps only wear once in a blue moon probably better not to buy them from a place like Reese where they're, where they're really expensive but get a cheaper pair because you're only going to be wearing the 1% of the time where in somewhere like this we would get you a pair that you're going to wear all the time in a style that wouldn't overwhelm your frame so it's my job to sort of keep you on track and to keep the budget as well for you so I'm obviously aware of what you've got to spend today so I need to make sure that I give you a range of items within that budget that are going to be wearable for you. Okay so we've come straight to Mango where I've reserved some items but the first thing I'm going to do is assess Gail's shape and often their shape um, doesn't actually come to life as such until I start dressing you um, but from your perspective what shape do you believe is out to be? Um, in my better days, an hourglass, yeah. <laughs> but the bit in the middle so <laughs> started to increase. Yes, it yes, happens to yes, all of yes. us. So yes, I know, a larger size of an hourglass. Okay, all right. So if you do put on weight, where do you find you put it on? All in my middle, mid forties, all the classic okay. places to boots it now. Does it go generally everywhere else as well, or just on the middle? Uh, no, no, from mid thigh to here. Here. Okay, all right, in that section. Okay, so what I would do now is ordinarily, if we weren't doing this live on camera, I'd be asking her to take her jumper off so she just had like a vest top and sleeve, something on those lines. But do you mind if I just pull this back just a little bit tighter for a minute, just to have a look? Because straight away, look at how much smaller she probably looks. I don't even need to stand back to see that. I can see Amanda nodding yeah. in the background. Does she look instantly smaller, Amanda? Yes. Yes. You, 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 I can see you've got the lovely waist. And a minute ago, when you said you sort of wore hourglass, I could not see that waist at all on you. So what I'm seeing here is that her shoulders and her hips are really well balanced, actually. And yes, she goes in at the waist. Um, and I think you're exactly right. Probably in your earlier days, you were a nice little um, hourglass. But like everybody, we just start to get a little bit more thickness as we get older around here. You've got actually quite good shoulders. For many women, the shoulders start to slope as we get older. But I'm actually seeing quite a nice strong structure here. I think what will probably happen when I start to dress her is that whatever I do at the top, I'll have to do at the bottom. So what we mean by that is you're already in the hourglass shape like that, okay? So if I put on a really flared skirt on the bottom, I'm probably going to make you look really pear-shaped unless I broaden the top out at the same time. So if I broaden down here, I'll broaden same. up here, yeah? And then all the time I'll be nipping you in at the waist. I'm definitely going to get you to wear some more form-fitting clothes on top and I'm probably going to pull the neckline down a little bit. But let's see what happens as we start to get her dressed. Okay, so first outfit on. This is literally the first piece of clothing she's put on. What's your thoughts? I love the whole colouring. The whole colouring thing really stuck out to me. The blue, the browns, and the lighter colours. I, I love the colouring back and forth. Okay, great. Yeah. Is it the type of outfit you would wear? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So we got yes. good success yes. on the first one. Okay. Jack jacket and jeans, smart but casual. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Now we've got her in a quite a high heel at the moment because the jeans are very long on her. However, with a high heel, they're actually at the pretty much perfect level. But what I've done is I've made sure I selected a pair of jeans that had the raw edge on them. So she could very easily just take those up by a couple of centimetres um, to make them a non-trip hazard. So that's why I selected those ones as opposed to ones that have got a proper edging on them as well. Um, it's a beautiful shape on her. So these are a good strong boot cut and they're helping to balance out her thighs. One thing with this jacket, when the arms were down like that, you just look straight onto the camera, there we go. Can you see how that's now looking quite big and baggy on her? So I've got my little Primark bands with me. So there they are, they're about, um, I think they're a pound for about 500. You can also get them on Amazon, we'll link them for you. So all I'm going to do is put them on the sleeves of the jacket. I've got them on my jacket today, I've always got them on. Sometimes you're walking along the street and they're pink. 
but given that they're only a pound for 500, we don't mind that. But that will then keep that sleeve up like that. And now it won't look like the jacket's wearing you. It looks more appropriate because you can see your wrists. I always have to do it and I do it on most clients anyway. Um, we've kept the, the middle bit neutral and we've also given her a V-neck. For any of you who saw Antonia's video last week, um, Antonia was another five foot one lady, petite again. We spoke about how you need to see the neckline here. Um, seeing some flesh on a petite lady helps to break up the clothes and actually makes you look longer rather than shorter. The, the worst thing you could do is put on a jumper like you had on at the start. <laughs> I don't believe you, no, surely not. <laughs> Because all that was doing was hiding you from here to here and just creating a block. Yes. Here we've created interest, we've split lines up, we've added layers um, and that's why you look so lovely. Good start. Very good start. Okay, Very we'll good. see what else we can find. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just finding an alternative shoe for Gail. Now she's a size 5 but she likes a wider foot. So what I've done is I've gone to a size 6 because it's a sling back and then I'm using the sling back to make them tighter on her. That way she gets the width, but then she, the shoe actually still fits her as well. And the reason I'm changing the shoes at the moment is I want to give her a more practical option, um, heel height wise, because we've just had a discussion and that sort of heel height is maybe once a year type yeah. of thing. Yeah, occasional. Occasional, where this one might be more regular. So what I would be doing now is moving the jeans to the correct length for her. So there is actually too short. So you want to cover as much of the shoe as possible because she's petite. And when we do that, we're going to make her leg look a lot longer. Can you see the leg length difference here? So this is more where you should be wearing your jeans if you are petite. You're trying, you're trying to get as much of the length as possible. Here, your leg is going to look shorter. Now, if this was a crop, a proper cropped ankle bracer, maybe to here, then it would start to look a little bit better. And but what you wouldn't want to do is you wouldn't want to pull that top out and shorten yourself here. So you've stolen the length there, so you've got to get it back somewhere. So that's where we would start tucking the top in here. Okay, so I'll show you that on another pair of jeans in a, in a moment. Okay, so first of all, just to say we're sorry about the lighting. We're in a working shop. There is nothing we can do about it. The same with any background noise as well. So we just have to crack on, I'm afraid. Okay, so Gail and I have got the same jacket on. Do you feel in that type of look? So slightly more relaxed than the blazer? Yeah, I, li I like it. It's very, very, very comfortable. And I, I like the fact that the bell can go just at the back. Yeah, really nice. Instead of pulling it Yes, yeah, so look, when you just open these up like that, you've got a bit of a tighter top underneath. It just hangs really nicely. And I think it's quite a nice modern way of doing a... Coatigan. Coatigan, that's the word I was looking for. Like literally for a shopping day like this. Like I don't know if you've noticed, I've worn a blazer today because uh, a coat's too heavy to walk around in. And that's where something like this would look really good. Okay, so all we have done now is change up the jean for a cropped flare on her with boots on and we've we started to put on her everything that we've already had on her because when I'm out with a client like this I need to make sure it's creating a capsule wardrobe and it's relevant to all of their lifestyle needs so if it was raining today for example she could wear the boots or the nicer day then she could go back to the heel shoes that we had on with the other jeans earlier on We've got the navy jacket back on here, and this is the bag that she preferred. So now I've started to style up this bag with everything she's got. So she's not going home with like 10 bags. And so even this outfit here would go with the denim skirt as well, for example. So at this stage, we're only in the first shop, but by the time we get to our fifth, sixth shop, we'll be getting things out of carrier bags and say, well, try that on with the white t-shirt that you bought in Mango. Try the navy cardigan on with the new jeans we find in H&M. And so that everything mixes and matches and she goes home knowing that whatever combination she's in, she's got something to wear for her lifestyle that goes and that looks lovely. So what's your thoughts on that one? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it? Yeah, very comfortable, feels smart still. Good. Yeah. And can, can I share something on camera that you just shared with us 
her here. We were all smiling at her saying that she looked lovely and she said she feels rather silly. Yeah, yeah. I feel, feel like I've missed some obvious things. I, I didn't actually know where my waist was. Yeah, like we just had to pull her clothes up higher. things not, not where they're supposed to sit. Yeah. Um, just to sort of missing the obvious because you don't spend a lot of time analysing yourself. Yes, yeah. Um, so what she was doing with a, a skirt that we had on, she was putting it here and then if you do have any excess weight, the weight obviously comes over the waistband. So all we had to do was pull this waistband up just a little bit higher to then hide anything that we don't want anybody else to see. And yeah, you can't kind of like, oh, <laughs> that <laughs> like, easy. That's, easy. it's that easy. Yeah. yeah, but never feel silly because your life is probably really, really busy and you've got other things that you have to remember that this is my life, what I do every single day, where I'm sure I couldn't do your job or I couldn't care for your sister like you care for her and things like that. So you're looking lovely. Thank you. Okay, just a very quick change. All we've done is change the jacket, although you could put this over that that maybe jacket as well, the cardigan, and uh, create another layer, and just given her a practical coat. We've gone back to the little sling back shoes. Again, she could have very easily stuck with the boots. The point is, it's all going. It's all mixing matching. But the centre bit here has stayed the same. If you get a pair of blue jeans and a white top, you sort it because that's just your foundation and then all the other bits bring in your personality and your lifestyle so that looks really nice on you as well lovely so just to show you that a little loafer like that would have gone really nicely with that last outfit as well those ones are 59.99 okay so what just happened here is we put her in these green trousers which are now looking very nice but what did you do when you first put them on? Put them in the wrong position. So they, they were across here to accentuate all the things I don't want to be accentuating. Exactly, I'm yeah. Just not even wearing trousers in the right location. Yes. So I think you're so used to yeah. sort of putting them under yeah. where you feel your conscious area yeah. is, yeah. where actually if you put it over, yeah. it's helping to smooth that area down. Yeah. We we're just saying those sort of trousers just would be great with a pair of white trainers. We haven't got any here to show you. Um, so we'll just show you them quickly like that. But again, the white t-shirt is just working well with it. A nice coat over it, maybe a short bomber. That would look great. Okay. okay, another very quick change. Found this really lovely jumper for her. This comes in the plain cream as well, but you said you like the stripes, yep. didn't you? Feels like she needs a yacht. So when you are on your yacht, then you've got your trainers as well. So we're a little pushed for time today. So I'm not going to show them these on as well. But as you can see, she can easily go from the one to the other to the pair of boots, depending on whatever your lifestyle is dictating. But we're saying this is a perfect sort of meeting school mums in the evening yeah. or something like that. Not too dressy. I'm loving the neckline on this jumper. I'll just put those trainers down. Can you see, you can actually put that up if you wanted to, but personally on most clients, I would probably wear it quite open like that to create that V. I've also tucked in something completely alien to you, isn't it? Because what would you do? Cover it up. Pull it down, cover it up type of thing. But when we do that, particularly because we've got the shorter jean on here, we're going to shorten her length. So we've stolen from here, so we need to gain it back here. And again, it comes back to the fact that Gail is very actually well proportioned. So whatever we do up here, we need to do down here. So this collar is broadening her on top and the kick out flare jean there is broadening her on the bottom. And that's what makes for a lovely balancing. Okay, so next up, we've got this beautiful dress. You love it as well, don't you? Love this dress. Really nice. And I know I keep saying this, but just look how we're using the same accessories over and over again. And that's because everything we've used has been what we call a neutral base. So navies, whites, creams, an olive or a muti green in general is also a neutral. A stripe is a neutral as well. Yeah, so neutrals actually covers a lot of items. We get a lot of people say, oh, a neutral wardrobe is too boring. I'm like, but there's thousands of combinations with neutrals that you can use. Um, but this dress is working because 
the shoulder detail, the epaulettes here gives a really strong shoulder. We've got the V-neck here, which is exposing some of the skin. Now, the belt here, she could actually position it in a number of different positions. So we could go lo lower if we wanted on her. We could pull this out. The buttons down the front are really good as well because we just left them open for all the same reasons that we talk about when we're dealing with um, petite clients and that is to show a little bit more flesh. I'd really like to see a long white boot with this because I think um, sometimes a shoe like that can look a little bit dated in the wrong environment. So if you go into like a young pub type of environment, then you put a long boot on and then that would look a little bit more appropriate. But if you're going out to a more classier event, then you'd wear little shoes like that. Really, really nice. Okay, so Gail and I are now in H&M where I've already reserved the items for her. So we just go straight up to the desk, collect those items, take Gail into the changing room and start um, trying on. We've got all the bags with us here. Sorry, very hard to move the camera. So we'll be using the items that she's just bought in Mango to complete some of the outfits here in H&M as well. So we'll switch the camera back on in a minute for you. Okay, so we are now in H&M. Um, we are in the disabled toilets before anybody says, but that's because we're in here and they've given us access into this room. Then as soon as somebody comes along that is in need of it, then we will get out straight away. But unfortunately, none of the other changing rooms allow us the depth to show you from head to toe. So look at this. This is just a simple white blouse. It's the one that I showed when I was shopping earlier on. It's really inexpensive. It's a linen and it's just got the shoulder details here and we've just opened it up there. When, we, when it's closed like that, it is pulling a little bit across her chest here, but being linen, then the linen stretches really, really easily. And what were you just saying about your bottom? <laughs> having, having my bottom exposed makes me feel bottom naked because I would normally cover it up and wear something longer at the back. But what are you feeling about the look? It's not, it's not as big as I've always thought it was. No, it's not. And it probably looks smaller than you thought it was because now you're not hiding yourself. And you look absolutely amazing. They're the jeans from Mango. And this is just a, this is a 12 99 top, isn't it? Um, and it just shows you it's just as easy as that, really, when the top is doing all the work for you and you've got a really good structured jean on, then um, you can look very classy and very lovely and balanced with very simple clothes. That one coming home with us? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> On the buy it pile. <laughs> On the buy it pile. <laughs> okay, so another going out top. Feels really nice, like a sheer fabric. Um, we were just saying that you'd probably feel more comfortable with a lining underneath it, wouldn't you? So we've just gone to have a look for a nude top to go underneath it. But I'm loving the sort of 70s vibe that that is creating. I think you're loving that more dressed up yep. look and feel, aren't yep. you? Yeah, looks really, really nice. So when she first put it on, she was like, I don't think this is me. Do you want to sh let's show them what you were doing? Okay, pull that down. You had that open. And then um, and then all, all, all untucked. And then pull that out a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so then she said, I don't think this top is for me. And I'm like, I'm not surprised you don't think that top is for you. <laughs> so that just shows you what doing a little bit of judging actually does. And then it looks really, really nice. Okay, and another going out top. So we're just going to run through these really quickly because it's the same base layer for everything. We're just finding her more going out tops because she said she would... Go out every day if I had half the chance. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it given you had half the chance or given that you got the right wardrobe to go out in? Yeah, the latter. <laughs> does having the not the right wardrobe, does it stop you? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah. You see, and you, you open your wardrobe and then you feel flat. Yes. If you, if you can't feel good if what you're going to go out in, it can put you off. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, can we see you from behind? See because look at her backside. Um, there we go. Look at the detail on the top against her really lovely she's got a lovely curvaceous backside okay and let look look at it from the side as well that profile is just 
beautiful. And it's exactly those curves that need to be shown rather than hidden. When you hide them, you look two dress sizes bigger than you are. Okay, now you look like a size 12. Before, when we first turned up, you look like a size 16. Okay, so show it off, ladies. <laughs> Okay, so next we've got an outfit which I think we've both agreed is just a little bit sort of it looks a bit old mm -hmm. doesn't it I was just trying to say that with the right shoes like with a pointed heeled boot that would look completely different again but just not hitting the mark for your age I think I think we could do something with the blazer and the top that the whole combination together isn't right. So what we'll do is we'll start playing with these combinations, but we'll make them look slightly different to, to show you how sometimes you can discount, like it's very easy to discount all of that outfit right now, where it's probably not necessary to discount all of the outfit. We just need to style it a little bit different to make it work for your lifestyle. Okay, so let's have a play around, see what we can achieve. Right, so all we have done now is we've removed the skirt and instead of the skirt, we've just put the jeans back on from Mango. Um, what are you feeling now? I much prefer this look. Yeah. yeah. So again, it's just an, uh, a lesson for the audience that you need to be able to break down what you've got on and think about, well, okay, I might not like the full outfit, but when I pair it up differently, it looks completely different. And now I, you know, it's my favorite outfit type of thing. Probably before you would have been ready to take everything off. Yes, yeah. And yeah, just start I again. Couldn't, couldn't see that broken up to work with any, any other way, but this is definitely more me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really nice. And you're saying you're loving that color, aren't yes. you? The terracotta yeah, color. There you go. I'll just get up close there on that. It's actually, don't you just take that jacket off a second? There we go. Look at that lovely hourglass figure that has been shown there. Really nice. Okay, so and now we've got her in some leggings that she said she would never, ever wear when I brought them in. So what makes you think you wouldn't wear these? It's just that mindset that black is more slimming and um, my legs are very lumpy and bumpy. And, it, you know, I tell myself that they'll be more dis disguised in black leggings. I've never put a pair of leggings on that are not black. And how do you feel in that whole gym outfit now? I love all the colouring. That's all the coffees and creams and chocolates. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. And yeah. do your legs look yeah. lumpy no, and bumpy? No, different. No, 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 no it's different. A, it's a mindset. It is a mindset, yeah. but not only that, but you've, I would imagine when you throw on your black leggings, you throw on any top that you yeah. can oh, find. Yeah. 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 Where here now, you're styled from head to toe, yeah. even including yeah. the jacket here. Um, this is her own jacket, by the way, her own, her own barber, but everything else is whistling H&M. Um, and that's what tends to happen with a pair of black leggings. You do just grab any sort of top. Where here, the whole outfit is style. So for me, I would go and do the supermarket shop yeah. in that, as well as go to the gym, or even just put it on when I'm not going yeah. to the gym, because the whole outfit looks styled and ready to go. So it's a really comfy, easy way of styling yourself on a daily basis is to look styled in your gym wear. I think you look lovely and I can't see any lumps and bumps. <laughs> Are you thinking about your stomach? Uh, no, no, no. I've not even mentioned that, have I? No, you haven't. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, really, really nice. Okay, so next up we've got a denim skirt. I'm going to pull my hand around here because the denim skirt is too big. Um, that one is a size 18. Um, so I think we'd say said you're probably a uh, 16 in it, style. where you're usually a 14. So these are coming up a little bit smaller. And we've probably put in a trainer at the bottom there or a little ankle boot. But we just wanted to show you what it looked like because it's looking very nice. There we go. So all we've done is used the gym top from before. Um, and we've put a trainer on this time. Put a little um, bag over, the same bag that we've used all the rest of the time. But this time we've put it as a crossbody bag because we want to show the outfit slightly more relaxed so question for yourself and a question that I ask my clients all the way through the process is where would you wear it I would wear this out shopping okay I would wear this to visit friends I wear this to run errands yeah, yeah so you feel it would definitely yeah. fit in yes. with your lifestyle yeah. in and out the car easy yeah comfortable. okay great so 
checking back with yourself all the time as to okay I love it but where would I wear it is really really important because especially in this environment when you're here with a stylist it's very easy to get quite carried away yeah. in heels with everything yeah, where good. yeah because it looks better we always look better in heels but to bring an outfit back down to a position whereby it's suitable for your lifestyle on a daily basis that's the most important part of your wardrobe that should be 90 percent mm -hmm. of the stuff really and then there's just the last little 10 percent might be the going out pieces but happy with that then very happy very happy great and another quick little sort of casual but still good enough to go out in i'd say sort of top easy for summer now this top is a size small and we're in h&m and then she just had on a size 16 in a skirt it what no the 18 in the skirt that would need 16. so that just shows you she's gone from a small to a 16. it's not you it's the stores <laughs> because that's just obviously ridiculous if she's wearing a 16 um, skirt you would then expect to be buying a large in a top wouldn't you so it just shows you that unfortunately there's no rhyme or reason for it. You just have to buy multiple pieces, particularly if you're buying online and then just send the rest back. Okay, so just to show you that this body here is lovely. We've run out of time to video it. Really nice, so we will link it. Okay, so you can see there's four of us in this changing room right now. So you're back in your original clothes. It's very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> so have you enjoyed it? I've had a great day. I feel thoroughly spoilt. I feel like I've learned a lot. And it is definitely by far the most successful shopping day I've ever had. Oh, good. Go yeah, I, I would pick something with a view to make an outfit at home, but I don't, I don't have the natural eye for it and I haven't thought through the whole look. I, I don't think yeah. I'm to where um, you, you're going home with quite well, a few know, pieces. So <laughs> then, H &M as well. um, actually, look how many light colour pieces I know, that's as well. I'm shocked to my wardrobe. Because you said you've just got loads of dark, dark stuff. Dark, very in dark, there. very yeah. big, very baggy. Okay. Spring is around the corner, so let's hope. Um, yeah, you're going to look yeah. perfect. We've got trainers, you've got jeans, you've got a dress. I've got shoes, a handbag. Yeah, yeah. so everything for a capsule wardrobe. Absolutely. So Brilliant. thank you. So, been really so happy. Oh, good. Thank, thank you. you. It's been lovely to work with you. Amanda, our Style Academy student, thank you very much for your help in the background. She's been running around getting sizes for us. So remember, I've got that discount code for you for Monica Vinada. So I will put that up on the screen now for for you perfect timing for mother's day i know joe you've already got your eye on several pieces haven't you as as normal um, but yeah they do make really really great gifts so we will see you again next week thanks for joining us bye bye